Hey guys, welcome back to Office Hours with the Professor, the show where I say things. Tonight, we're going to take a break from talking about the bigger picture to learn about the single biggest badass in all the Shang Dynasty, okay? My homegirl, Fu Pao. Now, Fu Hao is probably the most interesting historically of all the figures mentioned in the Shang Dynasty Oracle Bones, okay? Now, as I say, Shang Dynasty, and she was the queen during the 13th century BC. In fact, not only was she the queen, but she was also a high priest and an accomplished military leader. She was a general. Now, of course, when I think of uh, cool Chinese woman warriors, the first one that I think of is that great Disney movie. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. They're not Huns. They're Xiong Nu. Get it right. <sighs> Anyway, <laughs> now, I love Mulan. It, it's, it's my favorite Disney movie, but Fu Hao was doing the Chinese Amazon warrior chick thing before it was cool, okay? Now, although in theory she was second in authority to her husband, the king, it seems like she really held the reins of power. Okay. Now, after all, as evidenced by the painstaking attention to the oracle bones, let's write that down. Remember, who, who remembers what the oracle bones are? The oracle bones. Let's write that down. Oracle bones. And the oracle bones were these these bones of animals that we that that the the ancient high priests would inscribe questions onto for the spirits and they would put the bone on a fire the bone would crack and they would read the cracks to determine their answer and the oracle bones of course are are the only compendium of Shang Dynasty era literature available to us so they're extremely important historically so the oracle bones are, are, many of them are discussing Fu Hao, okay? And if, if the oracle bones are any indication, the king's policy was more or less contingent on oracular pronouncements. Now, who was the oracle? Fu Hao. Territorial expansion and keeping vassal lords in line was contingent on a strong army with capable commanders. Who was the general? Fu Hao. So it really looks more and more like she's the one who's actually in charge of the country. Although, in theory, her husband was, was the ruler. But it, it appears more and more that Fu Hao was just this extraordinarily talented and ambitious individual who wielded enormous power. Let's write that down, big P. Power, very powerful individual. And she wielded this enormous power in the name of the king who preferred not to dirty his hands with actual work or, for that matter, actual power. So Fu Hao was, was pretty interesting. Now, another cool thing to think about, assuming these oracle bones were inscribed by the priests, it's quite possible that at least some of these oracle bones that we hold in our hands today were written by the hand of Fu Hao herself. We may very well be looking at Fu Hao's own handwriting when we look at some of these oracle bones, which is pretty cool, and I think it kind of puts a human face on some of this stuff. Really cool stuff, and Fu Hao was a very interesting character in the story of ancient China. So that was, uh, that was quite, quite quick, but that's all for today. Coming up next time, we're going to have the Shang Dynasty's dark side. And how?
be swift as a coursing river With all the force of a great typhoon With all the strength of a raging fire Mysterious as